All right. Well, good afternoon. Nathaniel from Cleveland.com. So this weekend, the NFL is kicking off several playoff games, but here in Cleveland, that's not happening. The team just finished 0-16 this season, and now fans are out in protest of what just happened this past season. So uh, shortly begin, we're going to have a parade actually coming down straight from that area. Uh, but we're actually going to try to catch some fans as well, see their reaction. Why are they out here? Why maybe then they're not even in the parade? So uh, just make sure you stay tuned with the live stream here. Guys, I saw your jerseys. You guys covered up. You guys only have ones. Come on out here for a second. Let's, 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 cut, let's get your jerseys first. Go ahead and let everybody see that. You mean? Yeah, yeah, you guys covered up there. Wins, you want wins, right? Yeah, All right, let's go ahead and turn this camera here. So, guys, uh, first of all, tell me what exactly brought you guys out here. It's cold. Well, honestly, sir, I think this is a good cause. I'm looking to donate some food to some food kitchens that might need it. And honestly, um, I just want to be a part of the camaraderie. I love this team, and I know that we're going to get better. And I'm just looking forward to seeing some really awesome floats today. Same thing. I mean, I've, we've been fans for since 1999 at least. And if this is the only way we can get a parade, and then LeBron's obviously not giving it one, for, so might as well come down and show support for everyone else. What was your reaction when you first heard that this could be a possibility that this happening? I, uh, first off, I love the internet and Facebook and the <laughs> idea of that because you're starting to see a lot of these inside jokes becoming these massive things and everybody wants to be on the inside of the joke and I think while I don't think our team is a joke, I do enjoy that we're bringing recognition to uh, just a really unfortunate situation. So. What do you hope that spurs from the, a parade like this uh, for the Browns at all? I'm assuming obviously wins, but yeah, tell me. Some anger, like get get behind the fans. You know, you can see that we're passionate about it. Come out and actually put a little bit more effort into it. I went to last week against Pittsburgh, and I swear, like towards the end of the game, they gave up. Corey Coleman dropped that open pass and broke my heart again. You saw you saw Agba tweet today, like it's an embarrassment. You're not a true fan for being here. And I think that's crazy. Like it's adding fuel to their fire, like to be embarrassed. Well, good. Yeah. You shouldn't lose that much. You're professionals. Guys, thanks again. Make sure you guys stay warm here like everyone else is. We got several fans coming down here now, kind of just, and we got uh, Cleveland police out as well. Um, yeah, just, just fans are just kind of just trying to gather what's going on here. So uh, we're almost very close to time with the parades actually come down. I think we have about 25 floats uh, coming in today. Um, and we'll, we actually have a grand marshal, we have a queen, um, but all this kind of got started with uh, Chris McNeil. He kind of, you know, they kind of started out with a tweet here. Uh, they started out with a tweet here, kind of talking about after the Cavs had their championship parade, you know, maybe we should have one for the Browns. Uh, now last year they were supposed to have the plan to have it, but they didn't do that. Why? Because the Browns were able to get a win last week, so they finished one in 15. But this season, only 16, and uh, you know, a week later we're here talking about the parade. So. Um, but yeah, we just got quite a bit of fans. I'm gonna kind of walk up here to the end here, kind of see if we find some other fans to chat with here, guys. Uh, we got another Browns fan kind of talking about. Anybody? Reaction? The gentleman over here, you, how are you? Good. Good. You've been out here for a while? A little bit. T tell me why you decided to come out. To celebrate our perfect season. 0-16. <laughs> Only two teams have done it. So it can't be easy. Yay! What was your reaction when you heard that they were gonna actually be having this parade at all? You know, I looked forward to it last year, so we got it this year. All right. Well, hey, thanks. Hey, look, I, uh, I guess enjoy the parade. We're going to see what happens next season, okay? All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So we're really close to time. You can, you know, there's some really incredible floats actually out. You're going to get a chance to see those as well. Um, but uh, let's see if we can try to catch some of these fans coming down here as well. Just hey, guys, how you doing? Okay. <laughs> They're shying away. <laughs> So, yes, yeah, so we're going to kind of give you some sights of uh, what it looks like uh, going up here right now. Yeah. See who's walking down here. You see some of the uh, shirts, some of the hats. Everyone's just trying to kind of take all this in right now. So, there have been a couple signs of folks that against this parade, obviously. Um, you know, as you heard one of the fans talking about earlier about Emmanuel Agba, uh, he was against this. He felt like it was a joke uh, to do this parade and be a part of this and even go out for it. So, um, you know, obviously there's a g opposition against it as well. So, uh, but yeah, again, just stay tuned. You know, the parade starts about 12 o'clock. Um, and we're kind of just giving you kind of some looks ahead uh, before the parade begins. So. Right here for Red Right 
Okay. The parade, All right, I just grabbed a fan here who's uh, waiting for the parade as well. Uh, sir, you can go step out for a second here. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Enjoying this. Uh, so tell me, why did you decide to come out today? Support of my team, support of my friends and my family. You know, it's like I don't consider this a loser's parade. I'm supporting my team, supporting my city. So it's, it's a tremendous. Good turnout. If you had if you had a chance to uh, be in a room with uh, management, and the owners, and the franchise, what, what would you want to say? What, what do you think needs to happen? Well, I think they need to get like well, they got they got rid of Sashi Brown. Thank God, the guy's a baseball executive. Dorsey is a football man. Hopefully, he, you know, look what he did in Kansas City. Look what he did in Green Bay. Hopefully, that'll work with us. He, do they just need to, um, management? Give them owners. Give the money. Step away. Let football people take care of football. That's all there is to it. Sir, thank you very much. Make sure you stay warm over here as well. So, <laughs> All right, so as you can see, some of the uh, law enforcement is kind of setting up, ready for it. Uh, we got everyone kind of getting their cameras out. We've got a couple fans walking across the side over here, trying to catch everything in. Let me see if I can try to grab one of them. We'll see if I can try to grab some of the teenagers up here as well. Hold on a second. Detroit Lions fans out here as well. Here to welcome you guys to the club. Welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> Could you mind you coming out for a second? Sure. Come on, come on, come on, talk about Come on, come on. How you doing? Good, good, good. All right. Why did you decide to come out here? Uh, I actually came all the way from D.C. just to uh, welcome you guys to the club. Uh, we didn't get a parade, so I'm a little jealous right now. Uh, and, hey, you know why not? I, this is my first time in Cleveland, and. Uh, I don't know. I, mean, it just, I think it's, it's a, a great thing. And uh, yeah, welcome to the club. That's it. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks. Stay warm, okay? Thank you. Oh, oh my God. Oh. 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 So, as you can hear, they're chanting, chanting the record of the Browns this season. Obviously, it's not something that's sitting well. <laughs> so, is, is it? So, uh, let me try to grab a couple other fans here, kind of chat about why they're out here. How you doing? Good. How are Good. You? Uh, what's your name? I'm Alex Jones. Hi, Alex. How you doing? So uh, tell me, why did you decide to come out? I mean, it's pretty cold. Um, well, I feel like as like a 90s child, we have my first witness memory of the Browns is us losing the playoff game to the Steelers. So I've never witnessed a good playoff win or a playoff team my whole life. And it's just awful. And we all want the ownership to know this is not right. If you had a chance uh, to speak with uh, the franchise and ownership, what would you want to say to them? Fire Hugh Jackson. That's what I'd say. And why is that? Uh, he doesn't take no ownership, in my opinion. I'm a big guy of ownership. you got to take some fault. And he's like, oh, Kenny Britt's the problem, which I, Kenny Britt was awful. Um, he's like, oh, Deshaun Kaiser's the problem. Well, Deshaun Kaiser's the youngest quarterback to ever start, or what top three youngest quarterback. you got to breed him if you're going to do it. You can't just blame the young guy. It would be different if he's a veteran. Okay. Alex, thanks again. Hey, make sure you stay warm, okay? I'll try okay. to. All right, so, yeah, again, we're just kind of just walking up and down here, kind of talking with fans uh, just about – you know what what's going on here? What's what we're witnessing here? So, so again, we're just gonna kind of just give you kind of the sights of uh, just what's going on down here. Praise should be starting momentarily here. So, oh. <laughs> oh, I say it's cheaper to replace coaches and managers than it is to resign players. I don't understand the idea. This guy yeah. stays here. Yeah. You know, John McKay, yeah. Tampa Bay, they, he goes, five years, I'll get the fuck to the class. He did. Yeah. You know, so get somebody going. Come on. You got to get to that. Yeah. It makes So if uh, you're just joining us for the first time, um, Cleveland Browns fans are outside here at First Energy Stadium to uh, really, in a sense, uh, be here for a parade that uh, is, in a sense, celebrating in, in protest, in a sense, really, of uh, the 0-16 season and just a need for change with the franchise. Um, you know, there's not only Browns fans out here, but as we saw earlier, there's some Detroit Lions fans, Pittsburgh Steelers fans. Uh, but this weekend is actually supposed to be a time where the NFL is actually uh, hosting the playoffs. And here in the city of Cleveland, they haven't been able to do that. Now, since 1999, since the team came back, uh, 
you know, there's only been one playoff uh, appearance, two winning seasons in 19 years, and in the past two years under Hugh Jackson, the team has finished one in 31. So, uh, but again, Nathaniel from Cleveland.com, we have a lot of folks out on the, out uh, getting uh, snaps, Facebook Live videos, pictures, everything, and you can check a, a lot of our content at Cleveland.com. Um, so, I guess here, if I could try to catch shortly for the break, I'm going to see if I can try to grab one more person here to uh, speak about the parade here. Uh, so, let me see if we can get, how you doing, sir? How you doing? How are you? Nathaniel from Cleveland.com, how are you? Tell me why you come out today. Uh, because I know we're going um, to the Super Bowl in three years, so this is never going to happen again. So your man's will be part of history. That's how it works. Also, remember, the Cavaliers is the same way. Sorry, the end is of sorry. So, hey, you got to start somewhere, and this is going to be great. Super Bowl in three years, guaranteed. All right, Super Bowl, you, you heard it here. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right. And a, and a shout out to Ballistic Athletic Wear, Cleveland's own. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Everybody's getting their advertising in as well, I guess, here. So, uh, yeah, we got everybody. Everybody's getting ready. And as we can see, uh, we got some of the uh, buses and everything coming around here now. So, I'll try to get out of the way so you guys can catch a lot of the action. Uh, we'll try to catch some fans as well, try to get their reaction. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. So for viewers, uh, if you look ahead here, uh, so here are some of the names that you need to know here. Uh, Chris McNeil, he was the organizer for this uh, perfect season parade. Uh, started with a tweet after the Cavs championship uh, back in 2016. Then we also have Shane Rover French. You can probably see his bus coming out here. He was named the Grand Marshal. And, uh, he's also the host of Rover's Morning uh, Glory on WMMS. And eventually here we'll see the actually the queen of the parade, uh, Cassidy Oswald as well. And again, you can see all these stories and learn a little bit more about them at Cleveland.com, uh, where our staff has been uh, actively working on uh, getting the story out to all of our readers. So. So again, we'll let you go ahead and hit all the sounds here of the parade. Get off the floor! 
So this is Nathaniel from Cleveland.com here. As you can see, uh, there's a burning for player personnel, bring back Kozar sign here. Um, you know, fans are getting an opportunity to uh, share what they think the franchise should do after an 0-16 season. Now, now, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, this parade is uh, following the Browns' 0-16 season. Uh, the previous year, 1-15 uh, under Hugh Jackson. So, uh, you know, the, the Browns fans, you know, they love their Browns, but they want to change. And uh, as you can see, they're making themselves uh, vocal here today.
Brown, baby. That's how we got our shit on. They said that to trick us, no. <laughs> we took advantage. Unlimited love for the Browns, baby. Hey, 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 no, bullshit. Hey, hey, no. Let's go, baby. Hey, we're back uh, here at the uh, live stream. Just showing you some of the sights and sounds of the parade coming down here. I've got a few fans around me, so I'm gonna see if I can try to get grab a hold of them, see if I can get some reaction. How you doing, sir? Uh, wh wh why'd you come out today? I came out today because I'm just disappointed. Um, I want to support the Browns. I love the team. I love the team enough to come down when it's below zero. And honestly, we can be better than this. You know, I'm not mad at the players. I love the players. I know they tried, but we, we deserve better than this. The players deserve better than this. The city deserves better than this. And we want to show we care about this team, even though we're 0 16, and show that we're unhappy. You can't exactly write a review on Yelp about the Browns. Okay. Thank you, sir. Enjoy the rest of this, okay? Thank you. Stay Thank you. warm. Okay. Stay warm. Yeah, you too. All right, so as you can see, uh, people have decorated their vans and their buses, um, all types of cars. I mean, I think we got a Ghostbuster car down there actually too. So I guess they want to. Yeah, 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 they started too. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna give you kind of the sights here. Uh, take you away from.
We're back here, uh, kind of probably about halfway in the parade here. Got another fan here. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Um, I'm a real loser. <laughs> tell, tell me, what made, you, what made you come out today and, and why? Well, because I'll never see a Super Bowl parade. So, you know, we got if they're going to make us look like a, like a pathetic bunch of fans every week, we'll make them look like a pathetic organization today. That's why I'm here. If you had a chance to tell a franchise what they need to do, uh, to not have something like this happen in the past season, 0-16, what would you say? They need to win a game. They need to win one game, and this will never happen again. And how do they go about doing that? Well, they got to score more points than one team during the year. If they score more points than another team that they're playing, then we won't have a parade. They can't seem to do that. What was your reaction when you heard that this parade could be happening and when it happened? Absolutely coming here, no doubt about it. Wouldn't miss it for the world. I, I don't go to any more games because I won't spend any money on these losers, but being here is something that I wouldn't miss for the world. Enjoy warmth. Thank, thanks again. Thank you. Thanks, too, my man. man. Okay. Go Brown. Okay. So, again, uh, you know, they had this parade basically after the Browns finished 0 16 uh, this season. Um, you know, they, they, they want wins, they want change. And, uh, and as you can see, they, you know, we have fans and uh, Detroit Lions fans. You know, in the parade, and then we have other folks just out here trying to support, um, you know, support the Browns wanting to do better as well. So we're just going to kind of take you back to the sites now. Who's the winner? Who's the winner? Last one. You better get it, man. Come on. Fuck it, there's always a. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so I, I think this might be the most uh, cr unique sign. So let me go ahead and turn, have you guys turn around here to the camera if we can get you in a second here. But um, tell me, why are you out here today? And uh, we'll get a shot of your sign here. Because I love the Browns, but this season was horrible, and I blame Jimmy Haslam. Uh, I spend as much time on this sign as Jimmy did on his team. So yeah, I would have spent more, but I got distracted when I stopped at a pl pilot flying J for fuel. So it's just, that's why I'm here. Um, what was your reaction when you heard that this parade could be happening? I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for the parade since the first game of the season. I knew it was going to happen, and I, I was sad to say, but I was really looking forward to it as we came down, as we came down to the end. Okay, so again, make sure I see the sign here. So, I made a sign with as much effort as Jimmy H. used for his team. Wow. <laughs> okay. Hey, stay warm out there, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so uh, everyone's kind of getting the sight still of the uh, parade and some of the folks coming down here. Good. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Factory of misery. Oh, my gosh. Hey, well, we got preseason champs right here. Preseason champs, regular season, not champs. Yeah. Are, are, are you surprised the parade is as long as it is? I think I heard a couple people say that already. No, man. I think people want to come out and express how they feel. And I think that uh, this is just a good way to get all that bad mojo out so we can have good mojo next season. Okay, enjoy the rest of this parade here. We'll do, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as we uh, try to maneuver here through some of the toilet paper that's being tossed around right now, I have another fan here. Uh, how are you, sir? What's your name, and uh, why did you decide to come out? Colin Bass. Uh, I'm from Texas, and I've been a Browns fan for 20 years, so I came up for the parade. And you say 20 exactly, just just shortly before the Browns came back to Cleveland to start. What no, was just, what's, I, I, yeah. I, was, I went to my first game when I was 10 in 94, and then they left the next year. Oh, wow. Yeah. T tell me, I mean, I guess in, in talking about them leaving and coming back, yeah. what, what's just your analysis of just how things are going? How things are going? <laughs> We're having a perfect season parade. We're going 0-16. I don't know. They need to make changes. They don't seem to know what they do in the draft, but we can't get worse. If uh, if you were management, how, how would you start? I mean, where, where do you go from where do you go from here now? Uh, it's all. It comes down to our draft and getting a line that can support a quarterback that actually wants to play. Right. That's the way we look at it. So. Your reaction when you heard about the parade? Uh, what was your reaction and why? Did you, you know. Utter excitement. Honestly, I bought tickets to come up here just for this from Texas, so totally worth it. I think it's a good way for the fans to get some catharsis after getting beat up. So it's good to uh, get out. And if you look at it, it's not angry. This isn't a, 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 a riot, you know. This is people just enjoying their team even though they suck. So. It looks like some more entertainment has come down here for you guys to look at. So yeah, I'll let you enjoy it. Stay warm. Thanks, bud. Thank you. All right, so again, you heard it already. 0-16 this past season, the Browns finished, and, you know, they want some changes, you know, and, uh, you know, right now they're showing that. 
uh, with these floats, with uh, costumes, shirts, everything. So, uh, yeah, just keep following this, and uh, we're just going to kind of give you more coverage of the parade, which is actually, um, according to some people, just has gone fairly long. So uh, just keep an eye out for the parade here. Let me see if I can grab see if I can grab a couple fans here. Uh, I'm not taking a picture of that. I respectfully disagree with your side. We are the All right, we'll uh, back here with some more coverage of the uh, parade. Uh, we've got a couple of other Browns fans, guys. How you doing? Uh, what made you guys decide to come out? Uh, you know what? I'm a big Browns fan. I went to every single game this season, actually, believe it or not. And I'm younger, so I haven't seen them really win much. So I'm kind of used to them losing. But, you know, I thought this was going to be the season. But, you know, it's nice It's nice to be here. Even they're celebrating losing. It's still fun. I, I also am a huge Browns fan, and I wanted to be part of the history of an 0-16 season. I mean, one other in NFL history. Uh, you're talking about the franchise. If you had an opportunity to kind of talk to management, what, what would you do to kind of just change this? I mean, were, were, you know, they totally weren't out of all of these games, were they? No, you know what? They weren't. And I, I don't know if it, I would say it's probably a coaching problem, honestly, but they keep switching coaches every two years or so. So maybe it's not such a bad thing. They're giving Hugh one more chance, maybe keep it for more than two years. And they got a new general manager. Hopefully they'll turn it around a little bit. Yeah. And, and talking about the general manager, he said real players. Did you hear about that? And what was your reaction? Well, I mean, if it were me, I would get rid of the whole front office, start from scratch, new quarterback, and uh, just keep going. We have a good core right now, except for the quarterback, running back. Other than that, it's looking up from previous years. Lastly, uh, last question for you guys. What was your reaction about this parade so far? I love it. I think it's hilarious. It's sad that it has to be us, but it's got to be someone. Favorite sign from today? Have you seen any good signs? Uh, I'm sure we're. we're okay. the, the I am not a crook sign of Jimmy Haslam. <laughs> and you guys enjoyed the parade. It looks like some more entertainment came down here. So thanks again, guys. Okay, so as you can see out uh, here, if you guys get a side of it, the. Uh, it's the tombstones for every starting quarterback since 1999. Uh, I'll see if I can slip the microphone in here, see if you guys can hear what they're talking about here. QBs <laughs> matter. Uh, yeah. Um, why are you Why are you going to pray? What Why? why? Um, because you know, if you had a pimple on your nose in middle school, you go to school and you walk in like, "Hey, Rudolph in the building." That's why I'm in a parade. We got a pimple on our nose, dog, and Rudolph's in the building. Thank you.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like some of the folks that were actually watching the parade are now filing inside the parade. Where it looks like we're about towards the end of this already. So again, uh, a parade after an 0-16 season for the Cleveland Browns. Um, they want change. Browns fans want change, and uh, you know they're hoping that after today that the franchise will recognize.